Hello, I'm Rob Sink, um, product specialist with Yokogawa in the uh, Control Instruments Business Unit. Today we're going to be talking about using the uh, LL50 software to uh, do an auto-tune on a UT55 controller. Okay, let's get started here. Um, first of all, we're going to open up the uh, LL50 setting tool. And we're actually going to go into communication under monitor and choose tuning. And we'll get the execute communication window that pops up. What we need to do here is choose which version of the communication we're going to be using, whether it be the dedicated cable or the RS-45 communication through the rear or Ethernet communication through the uh, RJ-45 jack. Today I'm using uh, Ethernet, so I've got that checked. I've got my IP address set here, and actually the controller is already communicating. We can see here by this window being populated. So at this point, we can go ahead and click Tuning. And what you're presented with here is basically it's capturing, um, it's a trend of your set point, your output, and your um, process variable. Uh, green, being, green being your uh, current set point, uh, blue being your process variable, or in our case today it's your temperature, and the purple line down here is your output. Um, in addition, down in this area we have several different pieces of information. We've got uh, graphical representations of your uh, temperature, your set point, and your output here. Uh, digital format of those values as well, set point, uh, temperature, and your current output. Um, these are our mode settings here. We can actually put the controller in auto or manual. We can uh, uh, put it in auto-tune or turn auto-tune off. We can change set points over here. Um, what we're going to do now is um, when you go to do your auto-tune, uh, Make sure your desired set point is entered. I'm going to use 800, but uh, to uh, make a change, you would just double click on the value, make your change here, and then click update. And you'll see the uh, set point change on the controller face. Um, to do auto tune, the controller has to be an automatic. Uh, on the controller itself, there's a red LED in the bottom left hand corner that needs to be. Um, off when you're doing auto-tune signifying that you're in automatic. So to do that from the software just go to the AM or auto manual section click your and change it to auto and you should see the uh, red light go out on the controller. Now we can t put it in auto-tune. What Auto-Tune is going to be doing here um, is going to 100% output. The value is going to go up uh, above the set point slightly. Um, it's going to cut the output back to 0%. You'll see your output drop below the set point slightly. Um, it'll do that cycle three times, make a calculation, and then automatically set your PID settings. Um, the controller uh, will return to normal operation after that. Um, while you're actually auto-tuning, the, the manual light, the red LED, will flash. When it's done, that light goes out. Okay. So I'm going to actually change the, our output to zero so we can start from uh, that point. So right now I've got a set point of 800. Uh, my current temperature is uh, 7, around 7 something, uh, 725, zero output. So the uh, temperature is actually uh, dropping since we don't have an output. So we're going to let that drop a little bit further before we initiate the auto tune.
Okay, I'm going to put it back in auto. And then go down to AT and choose one for the first PID group. And what we're seeing here is the output went to 100. That's your purple line. The blue line is your temperature. It's coming up trying to get to set point. So this is the first, uh, first of our three cycles that it's currently doing. And we're approaching the set point here. The controller, what it's doing when it does these three cycles, it's trying to learn the, the characteristics of your, your control loop and then automatically set the uh, control PID parameters for it. Right there, we cross the uh, set point and the output dropped down to a 0%. And now output went back up, back up to 100%. Uh, we're below the set point, now we're coming back up again. We've crossed the set point, now our output's back down to zero. And now back up to 100%. As you can see, the lines get, the sine wave is starting to get a lot smaller. And that should be our third cycle here. As you can see here, the auto-tune is now off. Um, it's changed the PID settings. Uh, the default PID settings, proportional band is uh, five, the integral is 240 and the derivative is 60. And these are the values that it's calculated for this particular process simulation. Uh, proportional was 3.4, your integral was one point, or was 12, and your derivative is 3. So now we can see our outputs modulating slightly um, and where we have our set point and process variable it basically appears as one line because um, we're maintaining that set point now. Um, if we were to change set points now, let's go to the, the set point parameter. We'll double click and let's change it to some other value. Let's say uh, 600 degrees. And you see our, uh, we'll let the graph shift a bit. We dropped the set point to 600 here. Our temperature is coming down because our output dropped and now the output's coming back up slightly to uh, make sure we don't uh, overshoot our set point. Very simple process. This is a very um, good tool when you're tuning. You can actually do manual tuning here as well. We can go in and, and, and tweak the PID settings if we're finding that the processes, um, the PID settings for the process are a little too aggressive. We can reduce those to uh, uh, make our control even better. But um, from what you're seeing here, we didn't overshoot at all. Nice ramp down, and we're now maintaining um, 600 degrees. We're at 599.6. That's really all that you need to do to uh, tune the loop to uh, make it um, have the proper parameters for optimum performance. I wanted to thank you for uh, viewing this video and if you have any questions about uh, this controller or other Yokogawa products, please give us a call at 800-524-7378.